Here's why every freelancer should consider writing a book. I'm learning to thrive in the gig economy. Would you like to learn too? You know, this month I've got a book coming out uh, called Heartfelt Goodbye. And I wrote the book more as a how-to guide for people who need to speak at a memorial service, give a, give a eulogy. And it was sparked by my mother's funeral. But recently I've been thinking about it. And when I went through the self-publishing process with Amazon, I realized it was so inexpensive to do and so easy to do that this actually would be a good way for a freelancer to establish him or herself as an authority on something. <clears throat> for instance, say you've got your own accounting firm. Well, you know what? You put together a small book like this. It doesn't have to be very long. This is about 11,000 words. On some topic that your accounting firm deals with. And now you're a published author on Amazon. People will see that you're a published author. And you're now a little bit more of an authority. You can put it on your... Uh, company's website. You can have it in the, the office so when people come into your office they can see it. Uh, you might make some money on it too but uh, the fact of the matter is it helps establish you as an authority and it's not just for professionals by the way. For instance if you're a plumber all right well say you put together a small book on uh, uh, how cold weather affects people's pipes in the region that you're in. Just a short book about how it can, it can ruin your pipes and here's some things to do to prevent your pipes from freezing in the winter. And you have that on your website. Maybe you have that uh, in, a, in an office if people come to your office. Probably not because you're a plumber, right? You have it on your business card that you, you created this book. They're going to see you in a different way. They're going to see you as more of an expert. You know? Um, I'll give you another example. And it's not necessarily establishing yourself as an expert, but close to it. Say you sell clothes for a living. You have, you're clothes, you have a clothes store. You put together a book like this on best ways to take care of your clothes. And you have it on the counter. Right? People come in, they're buying clothes, they see your book. Well, now they think that you know what you're talking about, and you would, you will. Um, again, it helps establish you. And, uh, and in fact, for a retailer, you could do even do something else on your website. If you sell online, you could say, you know, order $25 worth or $50 worth, you get a free book. That can't hurt, right? It might entice people to spend a little bit more money on, on your website. I see a lot of upsides to writing a book. Now, granted, some people can't write very well, and that's why you can hire somebody on Upwork or Fiverr, one of the other freelance sites. I, I do some myself, and you can certainly contact me at uh, my website. I'll put it down in the notes below. But uh, you can get a book cover done. You can get the formatting done reasonably cheaply on uh, Fiverr and um, Upwork. Now, the other side is, is you could go and spend thousands of dollars for a book production company to do it. And, and they will charge you thousands of dollars, you know, five, six thousand dollars to put together your book. And it'll look great. It will look great. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something very simple, something to help you establish yourself as an expert in your field. Now, in my case, as I said, I didn't write this as an attempt to show that I'm an expert in writing or giving speeches. But you'll notice the topic is one that I am an expert on. I've been a writer for 40 years. I've won awards for public speaking, and I coach public speaking. So a book like this on my website, where I'm advertising my services as a writer, an editor, a public speaking coach, that's got to help. They're going to say, well, he's written at least one book about the subject. He must know something. What do you think? Do you think it's worthwhile for a freelancer to put together some sort of short book 
on something to do with his uh, field to help him establish himself as an authority? I really do believe that that's the case. Um, but comment down below if you don't think it's worthwhile. I'd really be curious why you don't think it's worthwhile. And please, like and share this video. I think it's important for other people to find out about it. And, uh, you know, if you ever need it, buy my book on how to write and deliver a eulogy. Until next week, take care.